Oh crap, am I right on top of it? Yep. I thought I was further away than that. Welcome to your air hauler flight. Start up and taxi. I have if I bring my microphone back down. That will improve audio. Right. Oh my god, the the cloud is really set in. I can't see a damn thing. It's going to be scary as hell. Uh, one level of flap should be enough. Taxi and take off. En route, fly this sector and land at your destination. Alpha Yankee Echo India traffic, Sierra Victor Golf Romeo, 6 miles southeast, 4,700 feet, inbound to land runway 9 -er. Slow the aircraft down, one notch of flaps. Two notch of flaps. View reset. Oh man, I hate Microsoft cameras. That's so broken. That's you, you, you. Ridiculously short flight. Then okay. Landed. Taxi and park. Landing. Oh, that's bad. Sweet. Couldn't see where I was. People knocking at the door. Lots of distractions. You land yet? Yeah. In the trees a little bit, but luckily no collisions. These Microsoft cams are kicking my ass. And somebody at the door. Open the door if you want to come in. They're just banging on the door. That's even more distracting. Nearly drove off the edge. Right, okay, handbrake on. Engine off. Alt tap back to air hauler to offload forward slash load cargo and fuel. You can now return to the MFS right, main Bear with me, I've got to get this door hang on. Oh, Easter eggs, load. Okie dokios. Back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Flaps at level three. Taxi and take off. Dance on the pedals, avoid the trees. And we are airborne. En route, fly this sector and land at your Start destination. Start the plane on air holder too? Yep. It's a very, very short flight. It's going to take about 90 seconds. It's an extra three and a half thousand in the kitty. And then AYTI is after that. It's actually an incredibly long uh, airstrip, this one. Convenient. Yep, yeah, very. Are you going to check to see if you have anything going towards uh, AYTI after? Well, there is something from UUU heading that way, but I think it's too heavy. Don't think I can get it on board. We're not going to use the external cameras today because Microsoft Flight Simulator is. Well, the camera system in Microsoft Flight Simulator is terrible. 
Alpha Yankee Echo India Traffic Sierra Victor Golf Romeo 2 miles west 2000 feet inbound to land runway 9er. This is the first Alpha Yankee Echo India Traffic Sierra Victor Golf Romeo is on final runway 9er to land. Right. That was a bit bouncy. Landed. Taxi I, and park. I broke something. Great. Landing was quite positive. Landing you was quite positive, something. but I broke something. Interesting. Right, how break on? Engine off. You can now return to the MFS main menu. Job completed. Money in the bank. Welcome to your air hauler flight. Start up and taxi. Okay, battery's on. Cameras all screwed up. And finally, stupid cameras. Taxi and take off. E en route, fly this sector and land at your destination. Golf Romeo is type 1 miles north of uniform 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 request flight following Sierra Victor Golf Romeo Port Morrissey Center Clock 1006 Clock 1006 Victor Golf Romeo What well, my current Victor altitude Golf Romeo radar contact 2 miles north of uniform Four and a half. uniform It's frustrating that you can't set up an additional flight in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So now I've got to try and figure out where AYTI is on a VFR map that doesn't show you anything. If you zoom in close enough with a VFR map, it will show you eventually where the uh, airport is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I can either see where my plane is, or I can see where the uh, airport is, but I can't see where the airport is and where my plane is at the same time. Makes life a little tricky. Could if you get if you get close enough, you could. Yeah, I've got it zoomed out to maximum on a second screen, so I can sort of fly the direction I need to and. Hopefully I'll recognize it before I get there. But I've never flown... Uh, I saw in your previous video, you did, you did recognize that, that hill. So. Yeah. I've it's never flown this way, though. Range. It's the first time I've gone south. So it's all quite different right, down so here. from the south going north, yeah. What I'm seeing, or at least what I saw today, is lots of airports really close to each other, like... You can literally see them from, if you're parked on one, you can see the one you're going to, almost, if it weren't for the trees. Oh, actually, you can see on your map where I am, can't you? Does it track me in real time? You could give me some uh, guidance. Tell me if I'm on track. Well, now hold on. I went to Virtual Airline and I can see your plane now. Oh, you can see You're it. You're at 9,668 9, feet in the air. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, so you can see me in real time. Yes, that's when I go to Virtual Airline. Awesome. 
So am I sort of pointing at AYTI? Yes, you are. You're just... Uh, I would have a little more north if I were you. A bit more north? Just a touch. Have you ever played DCS well, Jim? No, I haven't. Absolutely gorgeous um, aircraft and flight model. But having been spoiled by Microsoft Flight Simulator and their stunning scenery, nothing, nothing else looks very good on the ground. <laughs> oh crap, am I right on top of it? Yep. I thought I was further away than that. Must be over the hill. Is it over to my left? You're directly on top of it. Is it below me? Oh, oh I zoomed in. It's Sorry. right there. Uh, it's Yeah, it's on your left. I see it. I got it. All right, let's get the flaps down. Three notch of flaps. Get that speed right down. I treat this aircraft terribly, I really do. Don't forget, you have to repair it before we leave. Uh, it's fine. Microsoft Flight Simulator has no damage modeling. Unfortunately. Have you heard of uh, A2A? No, sir, I haven't. A2A are a manufacturer of aircraft for flight simulation. Um, they did a lot with FSX. I've got a lot of their FSX stuff. Um, and since FSX kind of died off, if you will, they moved over to prepare 3D. I don't think they've ever done an X-Plane yes. version of anything, but I could be wrong on that front. Anyway, what they do is they, I think it's called AccuSim. And everything that I feel is missing from Microsoft Flight Simulator, they simulate. So flap damage, wheel damage, all of that stuff. Failures in the aircraft, uh, maintaining the spark plugs, the oil, all of that is included in their aircraft. And they're currently working on, uh, on a prop plane for... Uh, for Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I am so excited. Awesome. I could just see you uh, heading right into the airport right now. 3,700 feet altitude. We'll stop talking now, we'll let him concentrate. Oh, Taxi made it. and park. Landing was smooth. There we are, safely down. Shows that you touched down. And brake on. Engine off. <laughs> My repair button in uh, Air Hauler 2 has gone red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should do that now, before we leave. So those Easter eggs have paid for the repairs, which is pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's red all the time. It's always red. I didn't realise that. Good to know then. Yeah, that must be part of the 3007 update because I, I don't remember it being red before. Could be wrong. Anyway, I need to sign out on this video. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Please join Jimmy and I when we go. Where are we going, Jimmy? Have you picked a job? Um. Still in Papua New Guinea, I imagine. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to uh, sign off. KMF. KMF. We're going to KMF. And we're delivering, guess what? More Easter eggs. <laughs> Perfect. Just what we need. All right. Thank you, Jimmy, for accompanying me in that flight. Cheers, buddy. It's been a pleasure. And thank you to everybody at home for watching. I really appreciate it. See you in the next one. Goodbye for now.